Though she be but little, she is fierce. One of my favorite mantra that dates back, uh, I think the first time I can remember it was when I was studying abroad in South Africa as a sophomore in college, was a quote from Shakespeare, though she be but little, she is fierce. And every time some self doubt might creep in and say, well, you're just one person. Yes, I may be, you know, the first woman or the, or the youngest person to do it or a first generation college student to do it, but that doesn't make me small. It just means that, you know, I have to harness the power that I have and, and take that as an opportunity to be one person to create the, a meaningful difference. So the person that has had the biggest influence on my life was my freshman political science professor. I am a first generation college student, so you know, going to college was nerve wracking for me, thinking, you know, how, how am I going to perform? Am I gonna stack up to people that, you know, have more in the way of, of mentors and telling them how things function and how, you know, to take tests or how to study. Um, so there's a lot of doubt. And I was in a political science course with a renowned professor. I just really looked up to him and took in every word that he said, and I really wanted to perform well. He was also known as uh, one of the hardest professors um, at the university. So I studied hard and I found out that I got um, the first perfect score and the only perfect score on this test out of a class of 100. And his name is Dr. DeClerico. And Dr. DeClerico, after um, the exam results were released, he said, um, I want whoever got the 100 on my test to come up and speak to me. So I came up after class and I was so nervous and my uh, palms were sweaty. And I said, that was me, Dr. DeClerico. And he said, well, I want to work with you. I want to be your mentor. Um, and from then on, I really um, took in everything he said and tried to just make him proud in everything that I did. You know, he really guided me through um, getting an internship uh, with Congress, studying abroad, applying for law school, taking the challenging courses. And because he believed in me, I felt like I could do anything because someone that I looked up to so much was investing time in me because they knew I had potential meant the world.